good morning, good afternoon, and good evening to you. We're gonna love you all, oh, but you poke your tail finger out the nose when you're. Hi there, wasn't that a lovely G code? Anyway, today I would like to talk about practice regimes, as I've been asked a few times what's my practice regime. Um, simply put, I don't have one. Um, And again, simply because my brain doesn't work that way. I don't have the patience or the kind of attention span, if you will, to kind of sit there and go, I'm going to spend an hour on understanding theory and I'm going to spend an, an, an hour on, on learning scales and then I'm going to talk, look into chord theory and, and this, that and the other. I, I don't work that way and I never have. It, it's when I started to try it killed the fun for me, totally killed it, and I got bored and I got fed up of it really, really fast, so I didn't do it, and I went back to doing what I do, which is this. When I pick up a guitar, which I do every day and have done for 15 years, I think there's like maybe about two, three days where I haven't played guitar in about 15 years, because I just, I, it, it's, it's just the number one thing for me, it really is. Um, and I always have a guitar with me I always have a guitar with me that is kind of like another thing as well but coming back to practice regimes things I don't I, I, what I like to do is I just like to sit down with a guitar and just play it and not think about what I'm playing why it works this and the other if I like the sound of it that's good enough you know I, I don't analyze what I do and I do find some days when I do analyze what I do I tend to get frustrated and annoyed and I tend to kind of like get um, kind of angry because I can't turn my brain off and it, it, I don't like over analyzing guitar and um, but again this is me uh, if you know for what out there if it works for you to kind of like do say like 15 minutes on scales 15 minutes on chords and then kind of like you know uh, half an hour on improvisation. If you want to plan it out that way and it works for you, wicked. But I can only speak from my perspective. I, I don't think it's the best thing. You know, the, the, the guitar and music in general, it, it's not a... It's not one of those things that you should ever feel imprisoned by to kind of like do that. You've got to learn this and you've got to learn that and you've got to do this and you've got to do that. I don't feel it should be that way. It should be kind of like, you know, just do what you want to do. If you want to you know, if you just want to sit around playing power chords all day, do that. Don't, don't feel the pressure to do anything else. You know, it really is, it's really down to personal preference. And just because somebody says you need to do this doesn't make it so. So, um, yeah, practice regime wise, like I said, I don't have one. I'd never have had one. I just like to sit down with my guitar and play it and see what comes out. One of my favorite things to do since day one is to play along to my favorite CDs. Uh, back in the day, and still to this day, I play along with like Dookie by Green Day and, and, and Smash by The Offspring. Uh, one of my favourite CDs to play along to is The Chili Peppers Live in Hyde Park. Uh, I will literally spend an hour, an hour and a half playing along to the entire CD. I pretty much know every song on that album. Some I've forgot, some I don't play, like to play anymore, but literally I'll spend like all day doing that. I will play along to CDs. And I also love to sit down and figure songs out by ear. That is another thing I really, really love to do. I was, I was learning um, Slide Away by Oasis the other day and that was just really good fun. I was doing it by memory, which is another thing I'm trying to get into, which is uh, hearing a song in my head. Can I, If I can hear it in my head, can I figure it out on the guitar without actually having this song there as a prompt, which is something I'm working on. That's that's really good fun as well. Right? You know, can you hear it and kind of go, right, well, it sounds like this, is that it? And then go and check it. And if it's right, then hey. Um, so that's, that's really cool. That's something I enjoy doing. But I, I just like playing music. I don't like to analyse music. I just like to let it be what it is at the end of the day. And I would highly recommend learning songs and playing along to CDs to anyone, anybody who plays guitar. It's just so important, I feel, to kind of do that. Because um, it just puts everything you know in a practical way. I always talk about that kind of practical theoretical thing. And doing this... <laughs> You know, that's that's all well and good, but it's only fear out of knowledge, you're just kind of running a scale. Whereas if you're kind of going You know, 
compared that to a song and kind of messing around with improvisation in a song like that with that sorry it's putting into a practical sense and you're, you're hearing what you know oh i don't like that note i like that one i like where that one falls and you'll log what you like so to say so i always feel it's very very massively important to play along to music excuse me because it improves your timing your feel because you're playing with humans you're not playing to a metronome which is robotic we're not we, we are not made to play to perfect time we're humans we, we need to we need to pull back and push on time we're not supposed to be perfectly in time all the time it just it just is not what we are at the end of the day we're not that kind of we're not that way inclined i, I get that and I, it's cool that people want to do that but to me i don't like it i don't i don't like the idea i like when music pulls and it pushes you know and you can feel that i really like that it's a very human kind of thing but um but yeah i mean I say well, that, that's basically my practice regime. I just literally play along with songs, figure out songs, and I just mess around and just play around. Whether it's for five minutes a day or for an hour or two hours or three hours or all day, depending on how I feel. Since this guitar came into my life, I literally can't put it down. I, it's gone everywhere with me, literally everywhere. Like the only where it hasn't, the only place it hasn't gone to me is the bathroom, and that's for good reason. But anyway. <laughs> That was totally unnecessary knowledge you really didn't need to know. But anyway, but that is the kind of thing. It is like, you know, I, I just like to have a guitar around all the time and just mess around and play it. I don't overanalyze. I don't like overanalyzing music. I don't feel it's kind of what it's about. Maybe I'll get into kind of my theories on music another day. They match up very well with John Fashanis, so that, that's kind of that. But um, I've always felt music is a very kind of... Uh, a natural kind of thing it should just you should just be able to uh, just you just play you don't kind of think about it it's not one of those things where you kind of sit around and just go right well this that and the other and, and analyze it it's just one of those things where you just sit down and you play and you have fun and it it relieves you of either stress or worries or, or whatever and it just gets it out of you and, and i feel if you're overanalyzing things it, it kind of detracts from that so to say so um yeah, my, 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 my advice for practice regimes would basically just be kind of do what you want to do and whatever makes you happy. Don't feel that you need to have a strict practice regime to a minute, to the minute or hour or whatever it is of, of, of things just because somebody said so. It doesn't, if that doesn't work for you, don't do it. Just have fun. Music is fun. Music is brilliant. It, and playing guitar is just the best thing in the world. So I would just literally just say pick it up and just play whatever you want. Play what makes you happy. You know, don't kind of um, kind of fall down that rabbit hole because you can get lost down. It's like a black hole sometimes with, with practice regimes and learning theory. You can kind of get lost very easily in it. And I, I've got to say, I've, I've, I've got to warn people about that. It can be, it can be dangerous and it can kill the fun and it can make you want to give up. I have seen this, I have witnessed it, and I have almost been there myself so yeah i would just say play what makes you happy and forget anything else just do what you want learn what you want play what you want forget the rest because at the end of the day you know it's all about making you happy and like i say and getting whatever it is inside of you out and if you're not doing that then it's kind of like you know to going against the point of music music is kind of supposed to be kind of like a it's it's a healer so it, it's kind of goes against that but anyway you know, uh, I thought I'd do a good random quick video on, on that today. It's not going to be a massive video because that's that's literally my opinion on it. It's just literally playing along with music, playing along with your favourite bands and CDs and just and just generally playing around is great fun. It really is great fun. So, uh, so yeah, I uh, hope you enjoyed this video. And, uh, yeah, I'll see you again soon on Q&A Wednesday. Ha-ha. Goodbye now. <laughs>